Hi Pisces, this is your reading with me for <laughs> my neighbor is doing work in their garden. Okay, anyways, I don't think you'll be really able to hear that, but um, yeah, we're gonna have a look and see what's coming through Pisces for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs for October 2021. So yeah, let's take a look, let's see what's happening, and I've got the cards ready to go. Just wanted to mention if you would like to win a free reading with me, check out the description box below since I do a giveaway every single month. If you would like to purchase a private paid reading, information is also down below as well. They are done within 12 to 24 hours, so same day readings, personal readings with me, and then of course my intention items are on my website, um, so that is shopmoonlightguidance.com, which thousands of people have seen results with those items, so so definitely do check them out for different categories. So you know, it's different categories for the intentions and then in them there are different items such as handmade bracelets, necklaces, anklets, pom-poms, tassels, embroidered cards, sage, crystals and also we have just launched candles as well so if you are interested the candles are on there. These are handmade, hand-poured, plant-based, they smell divine, they're 100% natural as well, uh, natural scented. Um, so yes, it's all, it's all there, they're very convenient. Um, so <laughs> yeah, it's all on the website. Everything's meditated with and sage. And let's begin. All right, so Pisces. Pisces, let's see what love for October is bringing you. Okay, four of wands, I see you. Whoa, okay, let's start with this much for now. So we have got here the Knight of Pentacles, the Seven of Pentacles, the Strength card with the Four of Wands. Okay, we've got the Two of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords. Who's been seeing 1111 a lot? Let me know because Four of Wands is right there. We've also got the Page of Cups. Now I just want to pull some of these Mercury message cards. here and we have one here well isn't this interesting there's someone around you who really does fear being alone and they're lurking on your social media accounts okay so they're watching your moves okay they're watching what you're doing they're watching how you are they're watching if you are hanging out with anyone if you're talking to anyone if you are interested in anyone they're trying to gauge an idea of what you are doing and I think that that is pretty pretty significant it's almost like they they are looking over you which I know can actually sound a little bit creepy but I, I don't think you will find it that way because they're not they're not trying to cause harm in that sense and they're not also stalking you following you things like that they, they can be following you in the sense of social media right like where someone follows someone on social media but not in real life I just want to say that's a little creepy if they're following you in real life, you know what I mean? Like that's that's not okay. Um, but on social media, you know, especially if your account is private, you know, they can sort of log in, you know, see what you've been up to and things like that. Um, so they are lurking, okay? That's another thing to keep in mind. If you don't want anyone to uh, be lurking, then, uh, you know, you just make your account private. That is literally simple as that. Um, so, and that's what I was saying, you know, and just uh, let people that you know are them follow you, that is, that is it, you know, so um, that's the biggest thing I see here is that they, they fear being alone, so ultimately, many of you know who this person is, some of you, this is a new person, okay, and they can be coming towards you because they feel lonely, and you know, it's, it's one of those things where some of you might be like, oh, okay, that's, that's nice, and some of you will be like, oh, well, I wish they didn't feel so lonely so that they felt, you know, 100% themselves and then would come towards me. That would be so much better than me sort of being like their void. So that's the thing is that it kind of goes two ways here, where ultimately they will come towards you, they will want to talk, they will be lurking, they will be thinking about you because they feel alone and they want company and they feel like you would provide such great company. So then there's that. But I also feel here in many ways that it's not that they are necessarily wanting to fill their void. They genuinely want love and they want that commitment. And I think that as time has gone by, what they've recognized is that a lot of people are settling down around them. So their friends could be settling down, um, their um, siblings could be settling down, or their uh, very close relatives 
who are around their same age could be settling down and it's triggering them because now everyone is suddenly doing that. You know, for example, they they may have been through a time where everyone around them was just free and was just, you know, um, dating or having fun or partying or just living, you know, their own life and having a lot of independence. And now they're starting to see that people in their family are starting to settle down and it is triggering the hell out of them. And now they fear being alone. So there's that context that I really want to talk about, which is that they genuinely do want true love and happiness and joy. And ultimately this person will come towards you because they will see you as a candidate to, you know, have a, a partnership with. So that's really what I'm seeing. They're going to be thinking about you. Okay. So for a lot of you, they'll be thinking about you. And for some of you, they will actually come forward to you. It really does depend because we've got Mercury retrograde. Some people come through during that time. Some people just keep it very strongly in their thoughts. So that's another thing. If they don't come forward, it's, it's because they've been thinking about you. But uh, yes, that's what I'm seeing. And even on your side as well, you may have family pressure. You may have, you know, people around you that are settling down. And so that also makes you feel like, oh my gosh, I fear being alone. So it's a very mutual thing. You know, it's not like they're just feeling it. You will also feel it as well. And you may also be lurking on their social media accounts and sort of be trying to figure out, okay, is it this person or is it this person? Like you might also be curious, you know, after this reading, trying to figure figure that out. So ultimately the Four of Wands really does show that sort of family energy, family environment and other people settling down, which is really triggering them. Along with the Two of Cups as well, there is that real sort of sense of like, oh, you know, there's, there's something here. So and that's really the biggest thing that I want to I want to say here, which is actually quite significant when you sort of think about it. Um, but yes, that is literally what we do have right there. Okay, so let's keep going. Okay, so we've got here the Eight of Wands. We have the Ten of Cups, which is quite significant actually. We've got the Queen of Wands, we have the Empress ruled by Venus, and we've also got the Hanged Man ruled by Neptune. So you see, spiritually, they are very, very triggered to come forward towards you here with the Hanged Man. So they can be sort of keeping a lot of this to themselves as they're trying to figure themselves out, but as that trigger of fear, that fear of being alone gets more and more, they will absolutely want to say something and come forward towards you. Okay, a lot of them will keep it to themselves. A lot of them may come forward even in November and say something. So just keep in mind, it really does vary. But the, te the Ten of Cups here really does show change, okay? There is a big change that happens in October. So I would say, you know, that things are basically about to be changing. So, so get ready that things are changing here. Um, you will also feel this really strong direct change. You'll be thinking, wondering, pondering, contemplating a lot. The strength card here also shows as well that you're trying to be strong, trying to get yourself together, but also at the same time is that you're hoping that there is love and there is joy and there is fulfillment. And many of you will see it. Some of you will feel it. So that's the difference here. And um, yeah, there's definitely someone here that is absolutely sort of looking at your social media. Um, and some of you may not even have social media. So they can be, you know, just trying to search around basically. But um, I definitely feel here, especially with the I fear being alone, that there is a sense here of them being fearful of being alone and starting to see so many people settle down. Um, and it's just triggering them quite a lot because they're starting to think like, oh, you know, there's, there's a lot in this sense. And that's really the biggest thing that we are picking up on. Um, so yeah, they are definitely quite, let's say, overwhelmed at times. Um, and that's really the biggest thing that we do pick up on is, is from time to time they, they, they get overwhelmed and they think to themselves, you know, it would be nice to have something or someone um, in terms of a connection um, so that I, you know, can build a connection with them. I don't feel like they'll necessarily want to use you to fill a void. That's one thing I want to say because, you know, when this, this phrase is thrown out, are thrown around, I fear being alone. A lot of people think, oh my gosh, it's just because, you know, that person wants to avoid. Not always the case. Here we have the Ten of Cups, we have the Two of Cups and the Four of Wands. And I think that they're starting to realise that a relationship really is for them. That's the biggest thing I see here is that there's some kind of emotional awareness that is starting to build in this person as well. Whereas before, it's something that they really didn't care so much about. Now they do care. And I think that it's also because everyone else is settling down and they see them being so happy and so fulfilled in their relationships that they want that as well. And I feel like many of you want that as well. And so here we are with this reading, basically seeing that October brings you change. And so, you know, be be prepared, be ready, but let things happen. You know, that's another big thing as well. So this is your reading. 
um, Pisces. Really hope it helped you, gave you tons of clarity, info, knowledge. Um, definitely do take care. I uh, really hope this helped you. And yes, uh, don't forget to like this video if you haven't already, to subscribe if you haven't already. Check out the description box below as well for information on private page readings, brewing giveaway, and of course, intention items, which are on my website. And take care, everyone. Bye.